What does one call a dinosaur in a car accident? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> That's the camera that got burns out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For those at home, we we had to put cold vodka bottle from the freezer to, to go <laughs> down. Anyway, um, oh, okay. yes, look at this. Holy crumb! This is what I was doing at five in the morning. Wait, oh. so, uh, I was sleeping. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll shield this from you. Yeah, please. I, I don't yeah, wanna... yeah, a little more shock value. Yeah, exactly. All right, hi guys, and welcome to the show. And I'm joined once again by Mark from Long Island Watch. And today we are discussing. Well, it was going to be a top ten. Now looking, right? no, <laughs> it's going to be a top ten. It's going to be like a top seven, right? Or se that's it's right. Be seven. I started with seven and asked for your suggestions. I mean, I gave three and a three half pieces of vomit. <laughs> no, no, th no, three good ones in one kind of yeah. So technically, this is ten and a half types of <laughs> ten and a half I types. It. I of love it. I love watch it. Watch snob that we have identified. And guys, feel free to share yours in the comments. And I'm probably, I would say, partially guilty of two of these. Yeah. I think everyone's a bit. Yes, yeah, snobbish. Yes, yeah, snobbish. Should we do wristwatch check? So I've got. I mean, talking about snob is definitely, definitely, definitely a polarizing piece. The Zurich yeah. uh, traveling hour, or I forgot what they Crazy. call it, carousel kind of. You know, it reminded me of an Urwerk from right. 20 plus years ago. Yeah. When I was always infatuated with that, and when I saw this, actually, this somebody was wearing this at a show I was at in San Francisco. I was like, oh, that's so cool! I got to get one of those. Remind me of the Urwerk, so I bought one. Um, so it's like a traveling hour. Really. So the so it rotates. So it rotates, and then as the pinion passes down here, it, it rotates so that the number gets ready for the next. So one has to come down because one o'clock will be after twelve o'clock. The whole thing goes this way. My dyslexic brain yeah, is completely confused. Yeah, you know what? When confused. you do B-roll, yeah, advance the time, it, okay. and you'll see what happens. Yeah. So, and and then it actually is a really cool way to tell the time. And if you're accustomed to it, it's faster than a two-handed watch. Oh, I'm starting to get it now. Because okay. if you look at the time, it's, you know, 11.47 or whatever. 11, 11 ah, 11.45? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Somewhere on there. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, pretty cool. That's amazing. And yeah. did, is this the strap it came on? Yeah, isn't that cool? The pillowy kind of leather strap? Yeah, you know it's what it reminds me of? me to it. Um, Alien, the, 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 the space suits oh, in yeah, Alien, yeah, yeah. the original 1979. Yeah. It's got this kind of retro futurist it's thing. It's really nice. It's actually... Surprisingly nice strap. I quite like that. It's different. I like things that tell time in weird ways, and maybe there's a snob against that, but I'm just right. saying, uh, you know. Can I be really rude and a bit uncouth? About a thousand bucks. Yeah, right. You knew I was going to ask you. I know you were ask me. You knew Somewhere around there. Right. I mean, they go on sale and stuff. I mean, I don't know. I, I obviously not being, uh, I'm not being paid to say it or anything. It's right. Just, I just happen to like the watch. And so, so what's the, I presume it's quite an entry level movement it's that a, they've actually modified. Actually it's a 9,000, Miyota 9,000. Ah, and so that's why what, it's a thousand bucks, right? Yeah, so from what I could gather, you know me, I kind of, without taking it apart, I took it apart in my brain as right. I watched it. And they just had to do one or two mods to the, to the either the, the minute or the hour train um, to do this whole thing. So it's pretty cool. A lot of the, the flipping of, st it all just takes place through the passage of time, the, spring-loaded, little cogs, whatever it might be. That's extraordinary. Yeah, cool. That's just, so the, is this like a, I, I presume it's a micro brand. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, I don't know how much you want to get into it. Um, the, the website watches.com, it's their house brand. And how many, how many people is behind this brand? I have no idea. Because whoever Zero designed also that. also makes like the NASA watch, which sells like hotcakes from what I understand. Right, I have to look into this. Yeah. 
I like the idea of something a bit different. Very different. Polarizing. Well, this is definitely yeah. polarizing. Yeah. yeah. What a fantastic watch to wear. Yeah. And I think equally your uh, Cassiope. Yeah, definitely polarizing. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the ultimate low value homage. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But, but this yeah. one I think has even got its own flavor with the yeah. yellow. Yeah, you know? for sure. Wonderful. Yeah. What, Lightweight, what? comfortable. Very cool. Yeah. I'm still wearing, I mean, I'm, we're wearing the same clothes because we recorded two videos back to back, by the way. Um, so <laughs> That would be kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm wearing the same as the, as the previous video from about a month ago when you watched this. The Universal Genève White Shadow designed by Genta. Patek homaged it. The sure. Gubelli, the designer of the Ellipse, openly admitted that without the uh, Genta creating this, he wouldn't have... Um, how, was the, how was the bracelet integrated into the case? Th this, is, this is what I thought, right? I thought the case back, when yeah. you take the case back oh, off... Oh, it means you just got a, uh, a relief in it? Yeah, but it's not. It's actually attached. Soldered? It's Yeah. It's soldered on or yeah. whatever, mechanically attached. Yeah, because I have two I have two of these now. I have one with, with a strap. Okay. And it's kind of clever because now I can't... I have to keep both. Got it. You know? Yeah, you can't just swap straps. But it's got the micro, this is an automatic with the micro yeah, rotor. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, super, super. It's really nice. Thank you. Beautiful Thank you. blue. I knew you'd like the blue. Yeah, blue is yeah. beautiful. Thank you very much. It was a bargain from Japan. I mean, this is from the 60s and it's like fantastic condition. I yeah, mean, there's a little amazing. bit of damage there, but. Yeah. Beautiful. And you just, you know, you slide yeah. however much you want. Yeah. I'm, I'm really getting into these like minimalist dressy pieces. That's definitely minimalist. Yeah, love it. Anyway, sorry. sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm geeking out over stuff. It's geeking out over. So, should we, should we start at number one then? Yeah, go ahead. I feel oh like I goodness. should wear glasses and have a pen to really, yeah. to really do this properly. But, um, you need a monocle. A mon you would do really well with a monocle and the chain. You would be awesome. You'd be a great Mr. The Peanut. With a top hat. <laughs> yeah, you'd be a great Mr. Peanut or what, Mr. What? Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> I should have dressed like that for this video, shouldn't I? <laughs> right. Been awesome. Number one, the quartz watch hater. Right. What causes this? Yeah, uh, I would say it's mostly. So I say the quartz watch hater would be people that are watch people mm -hmm. because they claim the quartz lack quartz lacks so high. So, yeah, you knew it, right? I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. So, and which. Eh, yeah, I guess I can kind of see it. I mean, but can you hate on like a Grand Seiko high, you know, high yeah, accuracy yeah. quartz? Like their 9F movements, they're like, they're finished like their automatic movements. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, even this, this is quartz, grab and go. Do you, do yeah. you really f feel that way about the lack of soul? Because... No. 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 I put this on and I feel connected, connected to it. Connected Even though yeah. it's Bluetooth, so it literally is connected. connected. But no, I do feel... I love it. It's, yeah, I, I feel the same way about my Mission Impossible Casio. That yeah. I have this bond with it and I cannot, for the life of me, explain it. Yeah. I put here, because people tend to force or project an anthrom... Anthro... Oh, hold on. Anth to, to, to people size it? Yeah, anthromo... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Basically, Goofy is an anthromo whatever, because he's anthro a dog, but he walks like a human. So I know the word you want. Right, right. Yeah, sorry. Uh, anthromo... Anthropomorphic. Yes. So they project that quality. Yeah, they want to humanize it. Yeah. Because I've talked about the biomechanical relationship we have with the beating heart, all yes. this. Uh, it's alive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this dies. Well, this is actually solar. So does this lack soul? Because it's solar. <laughs> <laughs> is the, the Swiss post quartz crisis? when they had to diversify and justify paying more for, you know, the production of, mm -hmm. of like, uh, they started the whole aspirational luxury thing yeah. to try and combat against. Yeah, like is, old, is that somehow to blame as well? Probably. Well, you look at like, like Concord or Piaget, when right. they start to come out with their, you know, really expensive higher end quartz watches, I guess, to try to draw people away. Have you ever felt any quartz snobbery yourself? No. No. No, I own a bunch. I can't. I don't. I'm not. That's not one of the snobs that I am. I, I sometimes feel a little bit the ticking of sure. certain entry. Like, sure. like it has to be something very special to me that I will accept the ticking. If it's, see, like, and this will be probably a theme that resonates through the video. If you like it, yeah. 
I don't care. Right. Good, good, good on you. But you know, I get it. Yeah, the bounce back of the seconds hand and stuff. Yeah. If it's sloppy or cheap chords, hey, if a fifteen dollar quartz watch gets someone into the hobby, then welcome. We yeah. welcome you with open arms. Exactly. Enjoy your soulless watch. Exactly. <laughs> Enjoy your soulless. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Um, the, oh, two. The luxury elitist collector. Yeah. Definitely. Those, pe those people certainly exist. Yeah, I think that's Without the vast majority of watch yes, snobs, right? Yes, yes. They hate entry-level stuff, yes. especially brands like Invicta, Swatch, Casio, anything non-luxury. Yes. That's, and they say that's not a real watch. watch. Yeah, I hate that saying. I got my first real watch today. So the one you had before wasn't real. It wasn't real. I mean, you got your first watch, so that's the only thing you can say. I got my right. first watch today, my first non-smart watch. Love to hear that. Yeah. Um, it's a yeah. thing though, isn't it? I, I, yes. I bought my first Rolex. Yeah. That's always a thing. Yeah, b big time. No big one time. ever says oh, I bought my first Seiko. <laughs> Maybe they do, just not in those circles. Uh, well, actually, I, that, technically that's not true because I do get a few comments saying, oh, I bought my first Seiko because yeah, of you. Yeah, because of you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is like, yeah, you yeah. know, like... I'm happy for you. Uh, yeah. Um, Makes you feel good. Are they the victims of aspirational uh, advertising slash brainwashing that we talked about to survive? I think the... they're the victims of, of having to project wealth via the wrist. So it stems from psychology and insecurity yeah i think so i think insecurity is a big one yeah. yeah 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 like i wear this therefore i am better right the watch does not make the man obviously yes uh, true anyway so the uh, and then i've written here the masterful copy of the patek philippe ellipse here um which is very interesting when i when i did the unboxing and a bit of a deep dive on this i discovered i, I fell down a rabbit hole and I just, this guy called uh let me get his name right Seth Tobias, who was kind of the inspiration for, he's, he was the real Madison Avenue madman of the late 60s, early 70s. And he was one of the first to manipulate the ideas of elitism Got it. for the marketing of the ellipse, which this inspired. Mm -hmm. It was really fascinating because it kind of, it, the seeds of like this status signaling yes. was, you could see it That's so it right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people buy into it. People buy into it, yeah. Yeah, um, so blame Patek. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Maybe you feel like you're part of a club. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Number three. This is an inverse of number two. Yeah, sure. The, the affordable only collector. Yeah, I got a lot of those. Really? Yeah, customers, yeah. They'll never buy anything expensive because they feel, they'll feel like, well, why should I when I can get so much? You know, it all come, it comes down to something like, so let's say, uh, I'm just going to go to the quintessential uh, Submariner, whatever right. they're going for nowadays. I don't know what retail is. Eight right. grand something? Tw 12? Is that what it is? 11, oh just God. under 12. A new Submariner, right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Oh, whatever. Wow. I was Shows how out of touch I am with reality. No, well, I, normally I wouldn't know, but I was looking the other oh, day. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you look at, you know, just say like a Seiko ISO, you know, Patty Diver for 400 bucks or 500 bucks is the Rolex 24 times the watch. No way in hell is no, 24, no. You know, 24 times the watch. Right. It's, it's a nice watch. Yeah. Maybe it's three, four times the watch. And I understand things like marketing and vertical integration, and I applaud that, and that's amazing. But I think a lot of the affordable only collector, they're like, well, I can get so much under a thousand in mm. so many different brands. Why should I spend? I'd rather have 24. Seiko esque mm -hmm. citizen affordables than one. And I can't yeah. say I fully disagree. Nobody can put a value on enjoyment. No, not at all. Um, and it's how you feel. Yeah. It's also a lifelong, you know, collecting is a lifelong journey. I mean, I don't want to yeah. get philosophical, but you know, right. eventually in life, I think you, if, if you have the means, you want to be able to experience different things. I yeah. have watches that are, I own watches that are 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and I own. Well, watches that are way more than that. I enjoy them all the same, but it's interesting to see what you can get at different price points. Right, yeah. Yeah, very true, very true. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of a little bit guilty of this, but not not to the extent of like the, the super, super high-end stuff. Yeah. And it's not about, if I was DuckTales rich, right, swimming in cash, Sure. I'm like 99.9% .9 certain that I still wouldn't buy these ridiculous things because it, I just, you would. Yeah. Why? I just think they're so freaking cool. 
I like get a, that. I get like that. I can't even pronounce it like a Grubel 4C, uh, you know, with the freaking globe rotating and yeah, stuff. Yeah, the yeah, engineering yeah. behind that to me is just, it's amazing. I think that's so cool. Is that because of who you are? Probably. Probably. I just like cool things. No right. one's going to know what the hell it is. Oh, because of most the engineering. Will, yeah, most people look at it and say, oh, it's a nice watch. What is that, $1,000? You know, let's be honest. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Everyone thinks like, oh, everyone's looking at my watch. Say, no one's looking at your watch. No. When you walk down the street, no one's, unless they want to rob you, no one's looking at your watch. <laughs> right. That, well, that's certainly a consideration. Um, I think it's also because maybe it's my Britishness is that, that it, it would... In my family, I'd get smacked over the head if I if I spent that much money on, yeah. on a watch, and it's just because it's not because we're frugal or stingy on it. It's just I don't know. It's just it's a tough a, one. There's a certain level which I don't go above. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I've looked at some watches that I can afford, and I'd say that's I just can't at this point. Even right. though I can, doesn't mean you should. Right. Yeah. Like the Bove, I went to the Bove factory many many years ago, mm -hmm. and as amazing as as they are, and I have nothing but admiration respect sure. for Pascal Raffi the guy all behind it and the engineers and amazing like, right. like you said. but I don't I don't feel compelled I need to own one I get it you know anyway this is a whole sorry yeah. this is a whole other discussion um, in fact actually I think I did go into some of this with my JLC versus Rolex video the kind of slightly controversial subjects of upbringing and class dynamics yes. and all of this it all goes into that so you know what watch that video <laughs> great video by the way thank you very much i know we discussed it before but i gotta say it again if you haven't seen it watch it it's like watching a documentary it's like watching a documentary on tv i <laughs> was like you. blown away thank you totally yeah you see why i take so long <laughs> yeah for sure for sure <laughs> number four this one's a real I really hate this one. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Well, let me hear it. Lay it on me, brother. The investment collector. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, so okay. Only likes brands that appreciate in value. Yeah, which of which is like three. Yeah, which <laughs> is, I've written AP, Rolex, Patek, maybe Cartier. Yeah, I would think Vacheron. R Richard Minet? Only if the rap market continues or the, or the F1 market continues to go up and you can resell it. But, you know... Very limited customer base. Yeah, 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 but you know, Rolex. I mean, the Rolex appreciate. Yeah, it appreciate. Definitely right? AP, Not Rolex, and Patek. Though. Yeah, I would yeah. say Vacheron also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Discounting the last two or three years of total insanity, crypto money explosion. Right. Um, there's probably far better investments out there than I buying agree. a Rolex and yeah. hoping it appreciates. I agree. I I really despise this kind of the false narrative that this boiler room culture it's kind of yes. like a parasite on the industry and and I, for those just getting into watches i think it sends a very wrong message yeah and those are money i said this before those are money enthusiasts yes. they're not watch enthusiasts yeah it's a commodity at that point and yeah it becomes, commoditization of com wrist becomes a commodity and i can't i can't stand it yeah. i can't i like the way they treat the watches and like they won't look at this right right which no, has that's right an amazing story that right. of of innovation and, and right. it holds the key to what has made ironically Patek Patek right. with the micro rotor because the same engineer that did this went on to work at Patek blah 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 I've done a whole video about that right you know, oh it's only seven hundred bucks I don't care about right. that I can't watch it I just can't yeah. well they're look selling at it. to the person that you mentioned a few a few times ago that right. was the uh, you know just the high end this just only collects or buys high end stuff. yeah it's just the way they treat treat the watches yeah no it's everything i just can't stand it it's cringy yeah it's cringy, it's cringy. am i the only one that's like that i don't know well no you're not but people do love to watch it i think people in general love to watch you know high value things people want people everybody wants what they can't have right and everybody loves to see money exchange hands and just expensive stuff I mean, with the exception of Wall Street, the movie, I don't mm. think I have any interest in, 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 in I don't know, I live in another century, I think. <laughs> you do live in another century, that is definitely true. Anyway, um, what else have I read? Um, yeah, mainly watch dealers are to blame. Not Mark, I wrote here. Not Mark, look at that. Hey! <laughs> because you were an enthusiast first. Yes. Yeah. And that's very, very different. And also you enjoy all levels. I do enjoy all levels. Exactly. Okay, number five. I think this is a new one. Uh oh. The smartwatch only wearer. Mm. And I put in brackets a new breed perhaps. 
hates on tech less traditional uh, watches. Yeah. Okay. In my view, it's kind of the same as why do I need a watch? I got a phone. Phone. So is that a collector or that's just a? Pro I, I, it, I think you, it's a snobbery. It's a, it's right. A, you can't really collect smart watches. I think you can. People, have you really? seen some of the videos out there? I have no idea. I think, you, I would think that, you have one iWatch or Apple Watch. Oh no, they're a collector. Why do you need a second one? I know. <laughs> I guess there's if there are different finishes, right? There's they can survey you from a different different angle. I guess. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's an, obviously Apple's got a product on their hands that's amazing, you know. Yeah. They're, they are selling more than everybody. Yeah. All, the, more than all the big boys. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of scary I think in a way. It is scary, and I think they're going to get better. And I think they're oh, going to, sure. someone is going to come along and mix it with traditional, I mean, I know Frederic Constant yeah, tried. Yeah, they tried, yeah. It's they're, very still, they're, they're still trying. Yeah, and, and it's admirable, and I yeah. respect them for doing it. And if I did have to, if I had to have a smartwatch, I, well, actually, I technically kind of have with, I have, I got a G-Shock I need to show you. Okay. But it doesn't give you notifications, which okay. for me is crucial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, this is the, yeah. going well, off on I a have, round of tangents. I mean, I, we, I, I ran this morning around Philly, and yeah. I have a running watch now. And right. I wanted a dumb one, but I wound up getting, the dumb ones are getting hard to find. Right. So I wound up getting a Garmin that links to my phone, and, right. but I turn off every notification right. except text just so in case my wife didn't needs look me at I G-Shot I'm surprised you didn't look at the G-Shot no. does it have GPS some of them See, that's the thing See, I like to memorialize every time I run so like when uh, I was in San Francisco I ran when I was in Chicago and I like to yeah and I look back and like oh wow look at that I ran that was cool and it's all mm. the places I've run and it kind of keeps track of all the miles I've done and stuff right. and I'm kind of like a sucker for that interesting interesting yeah. See, I don't run with this right nor do I run with my other G-Shock right yeah but I think this type of watch snob doesn't really exist in our... No. Circle? Yeah. But no. they, they're coming. No, but we got to get them wearing regular watches. Yeah. So How do we do that? Because there's like a hundred million of them. At, yeah. There's a million of them at this point. <laughs> How do we do that, guys? Buy an Islander. Yeah. You'll be Buy happier. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Buy a Range Master. Buy a Range Master. Number six, and I know a few of these, vintage is better snob. Yeah. Doesn't like new stuff. That's a shame. Yeah. Sometimes I, I, I've, you know, with certain brands, I definitely like... Yeah, I know you, you like a lot of the older stuff. Yeah, like Omega, I like the older stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, the coaxials and the master chrome, amazing, amazing. But I like the classic. Yep. We did that Rolex new versus... Yes. Yeah, 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 new versus old styles. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm not really a vintage collector. I don't have many out of my, I don't know, how many oh, watches right. I own, 200 or something. What is vintage at this point? Anything before the 90s? I don't even know. Yeah. Vin the, the definition of vintage is, is changing. Yeah, kind of a bit. I turn on some of the oldie stations I used to listen to with my father in the car, and I was like, oh, it's not oldies. Right. <laughs> it's like from like the 90s. <laughs> at what point does a watch become vintage? Yeah, I have a couple of Pogues. Um, I have an old, old Hamilton Electric. Um, Your father's Rolex? I uh, sure, it's mid 80s. I guess yeah, that, that's, that's definitely, definitely vintage. At this point, that's definitely vintage. Yeah. I wrote here, it's in the same vein as these kids today kind of thing. These kids today? Yeah, or back in my day. And I just want to read you this interesting quote. This is what Socrates wrote. Uh, this is 400 BC, right? Because if that's vintage. Yeah, that's vintage. Yeah, this is Clips Intra. Clips Intra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deep cut. If you ever catch yourself thinking, oh, these kids today, right? In my day, or thinking it was better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's never better because this is what Socrates wrote, 400 BC, right? The children now love luxury. They have bad manners, contempt for authority. They show disrespect for elders and love chatter in place of exercise. Children are now tyrants, not servants of their households. They no longer rise when elders enter the room, and it goes on and on. Oh, crap. I know. Doesn't that sound what it sounds like today? <laughs> I think every generation just says the same exact the same thing. Same thing. Watch snobs who like vintage. I think it's the same, same thing. kind of thinking. Yeah. You know? It's like it's well. I guess you know what? Are maybe if they, maybe we're burying the lead, but are we snobs because we don't like smartwatches? <sighs> That's the thing, though. It, I have the G-Shock that is technically yeah. going that way, yeah, and fairly. I can appreciate it. Yeah. I, I'm going to say no, because... Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm waiting for a smart, smart watch to come along that speaks to me. Gotcha. If I can, if I can connect, like you, you said at the yeah. beginning, with, like yeah. you connect with that, yeah. with a smart watch, yeah. it's, it's, 
Why not? Right. I think I just someone has to create something. I'm sure, there's people know? trying. Number seven, the one brand purist. And what happens is I've noticed they usually have contempt for rival. <laughs> sure. So, so example, people who love Amiga really yeah. hate Rolex. Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Seiko again, kind of hate yeah. Rolex. You yeah. know. What do you think of those? Oof. Broaden your horizons a little bit. You know, there can be more than one good company out there making yeah. watches. You have to kind of... What do you think is, is, is it that makes them go for just one? I kind of admire it in a way. I think scared. Oh, scared you... Scared they might like it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, you know, like worried that, oh, I may, I may enjoy Right. That watch. <laughs> See, I only own one Omega. I'm not like, I'm not a big fan of them. Right. I'll be honest with you. Interesting. And I have no desire to purchase one. What, what is it that you're not a fan of? I don't know. They just don't speak to me. They don't just don't speak to me. And yet I own four Rolexes. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, I'm not one of them. Well, maybe I am. Is there a brand that you could see yourself just... Going down that rabbit hole? Yeah. Nah. Variety is a spice of life. Yeah, I agree. Everybody offers something. A little bit different. I Maybe agree. there's a tone of a dial color that really, really, like someone does something really great, or maybe there's a material you want to get into, or a movement type you want to get into. Yeah. Like, um, I never, th I still don't own an FC, but they got that new movement that you did a while ago. With a, oh, the mono uh, yeah, thingy. Yeah, that thing is I'm gonna amazing. To, I'm gonna have to get yeah. one simply for that movement. That to yeah, me yeah, is yeah. like the evolution. I own I own watches with. I try to collect a watch with that has every movement. And you know, I got the bull electrostatic. I've got the Hamilton Electric, I've got automatics up to yin yang, I got quartzes, I got solars, I got kinetics. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get one of those. Yeah, things. you're the engineering collector. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, interesting. So that was my seven, and then and then I asked you, and you added three and a half. Yeah. So I'm, gonna, I'm yeah. not gonna touch Look, this did, first one. <laughs> do you want me, to, want me to read it? Yeah, better coming from you. Yeah. Oh, let's see, where is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better coming from you. And I, I, and I have to say this tongue in cheek because I don't really, you know, <laughs> this crowd of people, I'll talk to you. Yeah, you can swear, I'll, I'll bleep it out if, okay. if there's any swear. No, that was right. Oh. I'll never wear a Laco because of what the Germans did in World <laughs> War II. Like seriously, those people are all dead now. And it's just, I get this all the time because I, I am Jewish. Right. And people say, well, Mark, how could you carry a brand that blah, blah. And I'm like, the people now that own the company, first of all, the name changed hands and it's owned by somebody yeah. else. But it's not the same people. No. It's totally different. <laughs> it's really, it's some, you can say something about Mercedes Benz and, yeah. and all these others. I, and I wrote here, um, I wrote, what did I write? Uh, what oh, was it? Oh, just because I adore Hugo Boss suits does not mean I want to join the SS. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, and I get it, and I kind of understand where some people are coming from, but, you know, not that I always forgiven or whatever, but it just, for me, it's just totally different. I'm, I'm born in the 70s. I'm, yeah. I'm 30 years after World War II ended. Yeah. You know, so, and again, no disrespect to anybody. You have your beliefs, and that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I, I, I have to say that, you know, I... I come from a very long line of a uh, military family, essentially, yeah. and, and I have, uh, I think, ancestors that lost their lives in both world wars mm -hmm. against the Germans. Mm -hmm. I don't have any an animosity, right? Because it's different people with sure. different time, and and I have to be honest, the German brands that I, whenever I've uh, borrowed watches or collaborated, they're some of the most honest. Wonderful. Decent people. A I've lot of the met. brand owners that I know over there, yeah. they're wonderful people. Yeah, and I think we, yeah, we, that could be a whole new sub subject on its own. Uh, you also wrote this one. Uh, which one? Oh, this. <laughs> oh no, wait, sorry, that one. <laughs> oh, we Th this one. one. This one. Oh, this okay. One. The collector that will not wear anything but Swiss made because they don't want Chinese parts in their watch. And then I inserted, parenthetically, <laughs> LOL, if they only knew. <laughs> I, because, and I, and I get this also on the receiving end of customers that email in, you know, I don't, I want none of that China stuff in my watch. Well, if you're only buying Swiss made, that's great. But you know what? You're better off finding a watch that says made, made in the USA because that will, mm. you know, that will be everything is sourced from the US. Um, Swiss watches, um, 
they were at 60% value. They were working their way up to 70% on the F on FHS. Go to FHS.ch. That's like the Federation, Horology, Swiss, whatever. Yeah. They're the ones that set the law for Swiss made. Swiss made is a trademark and it is basically a law. Um, do people skirt around it? I don't know. I can't say mm. that they do or don't because um, I'm not a manufacturer in Switzerland. Uh, but yes, you can have Chinese parts in a Swiss watch. Mm. And guess what? The, that whole 60% value thing, people don't know this. The bracelet's not included in that valuation. Right, right. So the bracelet right. come from a totally different part of the world. When was that? Um, do you remember when there was like a, like a sh some kind of shortage of ETA? Oh, that was it. Oh, During more, COVID, right? Yeah. Stuff wasn't moving out of China. Yeah, and yeah. then at the same time, oh, there's no movements yeah. from ETA. Yeah, oh, yeah. I wonder why. Wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> wonder yeah. why. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all interconnected. Well, they, and they also open up their supply when it when it benefits their wallet. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Watch Group owns ETA. Yeah. People again re recognize that as well. Exactly. It's the biggest monopoly in you know in watches, and it, yes, it is a monopoly. Yeah. So What's I the next one? It was this one. Uh, the collector. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> the collector who just shits on everyone else's opinion on what makes a good watch. Yeah. So how do what do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> what did I write? write? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I wrote, never made a watch, never been in a factory, doesn't know how long the process involved. Yeah. I call them armchair yeah, watchmakers. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Monday morning quarterbacks or Sunday morning quarterbacks, yeah, or two, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. I don't yeah. watch football as yeah. we established. I've heard the... Earlier, right. Yeah. Um, you know, why certain uh, compromises are made, this and that. More prevalent, I think, than more people will admit. And you may see a, a fossil on someone's wrist and just poo-poo it immediately. And yeah. just goes, oh, that garbage, whatever. But don't forget, fossil, really, if you go back to the, I guess, more like 90s, yeah. they were like one of the first really, really big brands that you would see in the mall. Yeah. And very different styles, chronographs that were run digitally and this and that. So, yeah, I just don't really get it. I think a lot of people just like to voice their opinion. I see most of this online. Yes. I mean, yeah, this yeah. is really where you see most the, of the trollism, if you Yeah, will. the trollism. Yeah, I, that's a good way to put it. I think also... Something that... It was during these last few moments of recording that the third camera, which was filming me, ran out of battery. Due to scheduling conflicts and Mark having far better things to do with his time, we were unable to re-record this segment. State-of-the-art CGI to recreate me would have been an excellent remedy to this unfortunate situation, if not for the fact that I've spent all my money on a chronic watch addiction, and thus our limited budget could only afford to license the most basic animated cartoon as my interim replacement. We apologize for this disquieting inconvenience, and please enjoy the rest of the video. Whenever I see a watch that I don't like, uh -huh. I tell myself, I remember that somebody designed that and that somebody accepted that job and no matter how much you dislike it, they, you know, they're putting food on the table. It's true. And I think of it like that and I have, and it makes me not go down that. Hate it less? Yeah. Well, I just remember that, look, different strokes, all different, that stuff. Different strokes, different folks. Yeah. Being a bit more humble about it and a bit more open-minded is so important because sure. it's a thing that not to get too philosophical, but we have to like practice. Collectors who make lists about why other collectors might be snobs. And that's us. That's, that's, that's what you're wrong with. <laughs> that's our half. There you go. And I wrote this, of course I wrote this. Marcus Aurelius once said, you never know the suffering of others. It's true. And I think it's just a great thing to remember. You know? Yeah, everyone's got their own cross to bear. Yeah. Um, having said that, right, I'm not going to mention names, but... Um, I uh, came across a, a podcast, okay. a video podcast, right? And um, the topic was interesting, right? And I was like, oh, okay. And it's quite long format, a bit like this. And I clicked on it, and then I, about halfway through this, I had this realization. It was almost like I was in the third person kind gotcha, of. Gotcha, watching yourself. Watching myself, and I was like, I was watching a bunch of middle aged men complaining about watches, right? That they have not even any experience in. Got it. And I was like, I'm halfway through my life. Yeah. Is this, this is what, what I want I to be should, doing? Yeah. yeah. Should I be wasting? You know, should, should, I should read a book. It's or a sunny day. Go for go a walk. Go outside. Yeah. <laughs> hug a loved one. Yeah, something like that. Cooking you recipe. Yeah. As you said earlier, off camera, we are insignificant. Yeah. 
And, yeah, yeah. and actually, I say for most people, watches are insignificant. Right. So we are like doubly insignificant. We're insignificant squared. Lovely. Enjoy <laughs> your insignificance. There you go. Uh, Enjoy your mediocrity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, no, but definitely, guys, let me know. Are you guilty of any of, the, of, any of these uh, watch snob types? Uh, I know I'm certainly two or three of these. I, I don't think anyone's innocent. No. I, don't. I try not to do the holier than thou, thou thing yeah. because... Like I said, it's it's perfectly normal. I think, but it, I think it's important to recognise it and yeah, you know. Anyway, this feels like a therapy session. Yeah, I feel better now. You do? Yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Oh, thank you, Mark, oh. for sponsoring the production of this video. Don't forget to check out Mark's. Um, what should I plug? The website or the okay. the Instagram? The channel. The channel. The channel. The the channel. channel. There we go. There'll be a link down below. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Onwards and upwards, and we'll catch you in the next one. Ciao. Bye. Perfect. Was, was that okay? Yeah, it was okay, great. Good. That was a lot of fun.